I want to see somebody take an L. What? What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> These two lasers are not the same kind of lasers. Yeah. Neither one of them are hitting. All right. I want to see Ginger win because Ginger, I think, is the better player. Right. But I want Mojo to win. I want the underdog to win. Right. Generally, it's better melee if the better player wins. So that's, like, nice to see. But with these two, Ginger doesn't have to be playing that bad to lose. So. Right. What are those up airs? I guess to jump off the platform, but... You see all this fair? Are you seeing it? <laughs> I knew it? you were going to say I'm just, something. I, I, how can I, I not? I knew. How can I not? It's disgusting. <laughs> Why do people do this? <laughs> he missed it. He fared again. So Mojo's uh, doing pretty hot. Tech. Okay, catches it. Yeah, it's the kill. Not yet. Not yet. That'd be silly. Wow. Bottom of that hitbox. Waited on the tech. Super important thing to do to extend your combo game. Another illusion into center. Dang, that was left. Really? Yeah. I think it's arm wrestle mystic. Nah, I don't. I don't blame them because of the thunderstorm coming. Yeah, that's true. So. Oh. Yeah, I'm just saying that yesterday Ginger told me those up throw kind of setups. Yeah. Should like like they're escapable. That's just what he told me, you know, and he used the words execution to, so. Obviously, they net you a lot. Can't deny that they do something, but. Yeah. I like the way. I like the way Mojo uses Nair. He uses it more as an aggressive option. Than like, instead of Bobby, where it's like, okay, that's my combo story. Like, right. this is how I play it in neutral, is Nair. Mojo, Mojo follows more with me. With me. Uh -huh. He uses it to tech chase, um, which I like, because it, it kind of either puts them in float, which you can follow up directly, or it knocks them down again and right. it just keeps going. Mojo does have some pretty, pretty good Falcon practice too. Jake 13? Uh huh. And Cherno. Yeah, you're right. I mean, to be honest, he kind of came up playing two really good Falcons. Yeah. So. Uh, oh. Jim just got KJH. Yeah. But I don't. Are there any other notable boxes that I'm not clearly thinking of? Especially? I'm sure there are. I mean, even still, he's a top 50 player. Sure. Yeah, you're he, right. Not like he doesn't travel. Yo, Tweak versus Vitality? Wii U Grand? What? Let's go Vitality. Yeah, for real. That's Vitality. You just beat the boss. That's crazy. But back to the match. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I just got I got excited. Yeah, that's cool. The level of play over there is ridiculous. We have like three top ten players. Okay, so that's huge. Um, the people you see who are like excellent against Falco... Oh, never, around on him. never, ever, ever let Illusion Above the Edge get by. Ever. And that's typically only top players. Um, Mojo got hit by it. Took tons of percent. Really putting the pressure on him. It 
seems like when you crouch next to a uh, a downed opponent, um, the hardest thing to cover is just stand up. Yeah. I feel like I'm, you're expecting so much more. Right. You're forgetting the simple stuff. Like, it's not It's not even that even. Like, like, what were you going to say? Uh, I mean, just in terms of reaction, it seems like that's the one that tricks people the most. It's something to consider. Walk up and shine. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good about doing that. Ooh. Yeah. Baited. When Mojo's playing well, he's really good oh, about baiting out rolls. That's it. Ooh, Mojo looking clean. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Smash 4, man. <laughs> Children's game. <laughs> Give your Asher students a little Smash 4. Oh, are you really? Uh huh. That's funny. They play melee too, though. <laughs> oh. Let's go, youngins. So, Ginger might get uh, some steam going here with this combo game. Looking good. Should start going. But Mojo's definitely on that level. He's a. Uh, oh yeah. He's going in. Yeah, I mean, Mojo. Mojo's punishes uh, on Junior have just been ridiculous. Uh huh. Uh, it's not even like big crazy stuff. It's like like you were talking about that tech chasing there. Yeah. He's at thirty percent center stage. Right. Gets hit by the nair. Gets hit by another nair, and then just keeps following up on these little hits. Right. And if you really think about it, um, tech chasing with moves Ooh. like Mojo is doing, or like Shroomed is known to do, sure, is uh, it's gonna build up damage so much faster than tech chasing with grab. Yeah. So you can really push your advantage <laughs> <laughs> down to worse. Sure, yeah. Mine's better than yours. Yeah, I think Ginger nice. seems to be running away with us a little bit on this. You think that's just the nature of the stage? Yeah. He's uh, He seems comfortable. He's clearly practiced yeah. all of his matchups on this stage very well. As well he should, it's Falco's best counter pick quite often. His positioning within the stage is also really good. Uh -huh. Like, when he was in between that top and right platform and he was doing that dare, I mean, he was there for a purpose. Like, he specifically was right there, not to the left or not to the right more. He was like, I'm going to catch this man coming in with a side beat. Yep. A uh, little bit of history between these two, actually. I just remembered. Um, Ginger told me yesterday that they've played never in tournament until now, but they've played, I think, seven money matches. These two? Yeah. Really? Uh, wow. It's like every every time they're at the same tournament, Mojo wants to money match. You know? Like he has, he That's wants to beat them. Sounds right. Um, and Ginger said that he'd won six in a row, the first six, until this very last one. Ginger did? Uh huh. So we said. like Mojo won six in a row? No. Right. So he said that he didn't feel like terribly worried about him. You know, that he had the history. Sure. Uh, but I don't know. You know, we're kind of seeing. It's, uh, it's a different setting. Well. Yeah. 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 Oof. Oof. They are terrified of each other. Very careful space. Okay. Hit the jab again, I guess. Ginger's still moving, for sure. Uh -huh. He's keeping that pace up. I think Mojo did one of the um, classic answers to Falco, which is uh, like a, da a quick dash back or a wave dash back. Yeah. Because that's just going to eat up his uh, his little short hop near, short hop down air. You can punish him. But you've got to be in that Falco range to, to do it. One thing I... 
I don't want to say this preemptively. One thing I do want to see out of Mojo more is I want to see more ledge dashes. Really? I feel like he turned over a lot. I've been seeing those a lot today. That and the illusion from Edge. I don't know if it's nerves or that. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't seem very smart. Something in the water. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Aggressive option. <laughs> okay, so Ginger's reading him. Uh, All right. Kind of lost his position. Mojo kept up on the edge right now. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, he's still going. Sometimes he just goes ah, off. Yeah, dude. He just kicks the heck out of you. Trying to West Balls him. He's kind of West Balls him. He's feeling himself. What are you doing? Alright, that's the jitter. Doing, Come on now. What are you doing, Mojo? Keep your head up. He's trying to move him. Um, even though it looks like Ginger was laser camping, uh, he was still moving forward. Oh, yeah. So, you know, he was observing between each laser, like, can I finally go in? Like, is, this done? You know, like, is there an opening? All right, well, brought it to game five. kind of popped him on the way down. He's like, are you yeah. going to move? <laughs> Probably an up smash there. Oh, he's getting caught and shy. Look at this. What is this we getting? This is not what we saw in game one. Oh, that angle. Yeah, Mojo's got <laughs> so Ginger has started really catching these. Uh, oh. oh, what is going on? Side B's above the edge. Maybe part of his comeback. Oh. We'll agree. But that's that's good enough. That's kind of the classic when you're winning by a lot and it's uh, your high percent that you just kind of go for a hard read. Yeah. You're like, well, you know, can I push this even further or what? <laughs> right. Do I risk it with this game or do I just take off? Yeah. Oh. This is getting a little, a little bit of speed there. I like that. What? Uh, he had Fox in the corner and he just kind of like full hop down here in place. It's, Fox Ooh. escapes with full hop a lot. I feel like that's one thing. Also, yeah, I feel like that's one thing that is differentiating this from game one. Mojo's not grabbing nearly as much as he was. Uh huh. Like, look at that. One grab, and he got almost even enough. I mean, you've heard Mango say um, when Leffen's grabbing him, Leffen wins. When uh, Mango's avoiding grabs, he wins. So he thinks it's that important to the matchup. But, you know, Falco is making it hard to get grabbed. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh. Nah, he oh no. He's been hit by it almost. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like Leffen would not. Is it over? Why? All right. What? Yo, do we have a last stock? <laughs> Yo, what Let's go. That? What was that? That's the weirdest segue into a last stock. <laughs> I mean, it is. Texas gonna make the upset, or does Michigan okay. get another chance? If Mo I'm scared that if Mojo doesn't do this now, he won't. 
Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, he won two. He got him to last stock on the, on the last game. Yep. Oh, it? oh my god. What? Okay. Shoutouts to Michigan. Yeah, he's uh, he's, ah. ma he's made the run. Yeah, we he did make the run. You're right. He knew all it took was warming up. It's right. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy what it can do for you. All right, new set. We're gonna see a new mojo. I think we're gonna see the same gender we've been seeing. I think he's I think he's rip raring to go. Yeah. He's in, he's in his own. He knows what he's doing. I think he probably wanted a laser again there. Lower the firebox. Okay. I like the reaction. Yeah. Oh. Catch him on the roll in. <laughs> I love Damn. that. That is the second time I've seen him do that. He did that on, on Dreamland. It was so clean. Nice. All right. All right. I think that's the first time we've seen it done successfully this, today. No, I did it once on, on Dreamland. Really? Yeah. Game three. Well, we can definitely say that Mojo has... Um, brought a more consistent execution than Bobby and Shinobi did mm -hmm. of the Foxes. You know, and that, I don't make the difference. Okay. Take chase with moves. It'll get you kills. Yep. Oh. Nice. Oh, got him. Yeah. <laughs> that was like a gangster moment. Oh, he was so ready for it. Uh -huh. I was not ready for it. Tried to wait. Nice. Ooh. Oh, they're just kicking the mess out of each other. All right. Oh, what? Okay. All right. Let's go, Mojo. <laughs> interesting to watch good players try to maneuver around each other without giving anything away. Because <laughs> right. eventually someone's going to oh. get caught. It's, it's just so what? interesting. What? Is that it? What are you going to do? No, Damn. No, no, no. Damn. Uh -huh. no, Mojo, no. Uh -oh. No, no, no. Like How's he going to play so smart really for so cool. long and do this stuff? Come on, my guy. Uh, all right. Game one. SDJ popping off. <laughs> Texas cheering for the boys. Right. Thank you to everyone who came today. We really appreciate it. Nah, you don't. Some good games going on. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry. We'll see you again next year. Well, all right then. Ready? It's just good old fashioned. <laughs> All right, are we gonna see another combo video? Oh, <laughs> we might. This is a scary stage. Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right, we're just taking the first stock. Okay. Really? Ten percent better than no percent. Sometimes we see the mojo who just like takes all these games. 
uh, like at Club City Clash, I think it was. Yeah. He just ran through like six top 100s. Yep. And sometimes we see another kind of mojo, but you know, <laughs> the good one came to play. Yeah. He was hungry. I think. I think before some of these two times he slept on the the talent that the Midwest has. Right. Right. And now I now that I think he's seen it, I think he's I think he went into it taking it a little more seriously. Uh huh. Yeah, last time he came to Arkansas, he uh, kind of lost yeah. to your boy Bobby. Ooh. I, uh, yeah, I really don't like these side moves. It really yeah. scares me. Yeah. Man, this stage in the first set was a three-stock, like yeah. a bad three-stock. This is way different. Way different. Mojo's just making it feel like you can't hit him, and that's... Oh, well. See, the scary part, part of me, or of Mojo to me is like, it's not when he's on the ground, it's when he leaves the ground. Mm -hmm. Like, his follow-ups, like you, like you said, he tech chases with aerials, but like, it's so consistent, and you see it everywhere that, oh my god, when he leaves the ground, I get scared. Stuff. Wacky. I'm just enjoying watching this neutral. <laughs> I know, this is really good. I mean, we don't get to watch melee like this that often. No. We get to watch this in person. Not around here. Oh, no. Pretty down air. A silly kill. Yep. Alright, well, let's see if we can uh, ride that to a victory. Oh. I was ready for there to be another up air. Ooh, we'll turn around back here. Oh, oh. Yo, Ginger could run away with it. Is it happening? It's happening. What? Oh no. Okay, so that came off Mojo's of uh, killing himself. That came off of getting hit by side B, first of all, which shouldn't happen, of course. Dang. And then he got hit by a get up attack. Running away with it. So many pressure moments in melee, like critical points. Or if you had just cleaned it up and did what you were supposed to, you never would have lost. Yeah, dude. Never would have happened. That's the whole mental state. The I'm gonna win factor. You gotta, you gotta keep your composure. Uh huh. That is such a real thing. Especially because people are so good these days at. Uh, oh yeah. At, I'm just saying in general. At following up, um, doing damage off of any opening. Like, honestly, the more answers you have, the less stuff that you give away, like getting hit by that side B, like doing this and that, the less that you give away, you know, you're going to increase your chances to win exponentially. That could be a whole stock you just saved yourself. No, Mojo's moving. Yeah, yeah. Oh, He's my God. It. Moving. Okay, Mojo. <laughs> Yeah, that's the tough thing about calling out um, a character going to edge because you give them center stage. You know? That's even for like Peach floating in with Umbrella, like any time, you know? Sheik uh, up being or whatever, sometimes. He's just hitting them. I was like, let's go. Like I said, he's in the air, he's moving. Uh huh. Goodness, Mojo. He makes it look like he's one step ahead. Yeah. He makes it look so simple. Like, yeah, of course. You know, we were talking about tempo. I think that might be one of his strengths. Um, yeah, I can see that. Like achieving the tempo that he's good at playing at, mm -hmm. and then and then holding on to it. So maybe someone looking to beat him should uh, should look for options that kind of disrupt his tempo a lot. Because we've seen that he starts playing a lot worse sometimes. So. Break him up. Oh man. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I. Yeah, you see that in that situation. He, he's not one to tech level up. Like when he's down, 
Right. He's not he's not visibly upset like we see Austin. Uh-huh. And we see those we see those occasional flashes of genius. And, you know, he's really just moving. Yeah. Uh, Mango esque almost. Mm-hmm. All down. Okay. All right, good stuff, Ginger. Clean up that stock. And Mojo, get it. You can't. Called off the All double right. laser. Okay. Game nine. The uh. Oh wait, is it game nine or is it game? No. First set was three one, wasn't it? Three two. Oh, was it? Yep. Oh, okay. I'm just dumb. Game nine. Yeah. Dang. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, the ledge game at this tournament has been pretty pretty sketch. The ledge dashes, yeah. uh, you know, not so hot. You see lots of side Bs. <laughs> Fox and Falco. Oh, no. Yo, why are they going here? Oh, what was that? What was that? Nah, it's okay. He didn't take almost any damage that stock. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea who's going to win this. <laughs> I, don't I don't. I don't think Ginger's playing as clean, obviously, as, as we've seen. Case in point. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff. Good call. Mojo's playing well. Dude, Arby the Mind Reader. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I have no idea who's going to win. Why he's just awesome. Looking like Mojo right now. Really looking like Mojo. Really looking like Mojo. Ginger's like, oh, oof. He's looking off. I don't know if that speaks well of his mentality at the oof. moment. Let's go, Ginger. Let's go, both players. Specifically at this moment, awesome. Ginger. Okay, yeah. Get that. I'd, re I'd be ready to see game five, game ten, uh -huh. and then Mojo kill it. <laughs> I'm not sure what that up air was, but it was kind of cool. Nice. Not like he hasn't been doing it all set, so. Yeah. Why, why go for that drill? I don't know if he expected that to knock down. Or what was going through his head there. It just seems so out of place. Uh huh. He's going for more reads than uh than just reactions on his combo game. Oh, all right, cool, good stuff. Wow. Wow, thanks, guys. Who would do that? That dude. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> uh, Ginger's clawed his way back. There we go. Let's see if he can clean this edge guard up. Okay. All right, last stock. Last stock. Gimper a, a Gimp Gimp combo. All right. Gimper a combo. Oh. Mm. Oh. How does he get off? It worked uh, out that I don't time. Know what that was. He just wants something to land. Oh. Yeah, he gets that one opening. Uh. Mojo so hard to hit. Right. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Good, Good stuff to Mojo. All right. I know.